In this lecture, I'm going to try and do uh, the opposite. I'm going to try and convert the number of particles into moles. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to con try and convert uh, the number, the actual number, back into the unit that I'm using uh, for counting. So uh, when I'm counting atoms, when I'm counting anything in chemistry, when I'm counting atoms, molecules, electrons, etc., there's so many I'm going to count them in moles. So let's start with the with the units that you're familiar with. For example, if I have this number, so there's this number, and I want to convert it into thousand. Now thousand is a unit. So how many thousands would that be equal to? So if I want to convert fifty, this is uh, this is five followed by four zeros. So if I want to convert any number to to, to its unit, this would be equal to. It would be equal to. Fifty thousand, which basically means that when I was converting this number into its unit, what I did was I can I divided that number by what the unit stands for. So I divided it by 1000, so I got 50. So if I want to convert this number 5 followed by 4 zeros, if I want to convert this number into thousands, it's going to be equal to 50,000. Uh, similarly, if I have uh, another number, let's take another number, I have, uh, I have this number, it's 5 followed by 2 zeros, and I want to convert that number into a different unit for counting and I want to convert it into 100 so this would be equal to how many hundreds it's going to be equal to 5 100 so when I was converting this number into its particular unit I divided it by uh, I divided it by 100 which is what the unit stands for in a similar way let's do a few more if I have this number it's 6 followed by let's say 5 zeros and I want to find out how many millions is this equal to. So this would be equal to 0 0.6 million. So that's equal to 0 0.6 million. And the way I was able to uh, convert that number into its unit, which is million, uh, I'm using millions, I was converting that number into millions. So it's, it's, it's 6 followed by 5 zeros. So the way I did was I divided it by, I divided it by, uh, 1 million which is this number and I got 0. 0.6 so it's going to be equal to 0. 0.6 million so similarly you, you can convert a number to unit and now we're going to try and convert number whatever number that we have now we, we're counting atoms and atoms are, are usually have very large they're present in very la large numbers I'm going to try and convert uh, that number into moles now the two things that I can do, one is that uh, if I want to convert some number into moles, and remember you're can you you're going to use moles for counting very, very large numbers. So let's say uh, I know that one mole, if I have one mole, that's equal to how many particles? It's equal to 6.02 into 10 raised power 23 particles. So if I have any other number, for example, if I have 10 into 10 raised power 21 particles, then how many moles would that be equal to? That's going to be equal to x moles. I'm going to use ratios. So 1 mole is basically equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So 10 into 10 to the power 21 particles would be equal to how many moles? So I'm going to use ratios and for ratios you are going to cross multiply. In this lecture we're going to try and convert a number of particles into moles. Now moles is a unit for counting. We've already discussed how to convert moles into number of particles. So if you want to convert any number to a particular unit and you use different units for counting. So for example, I've given you three examples. This is uh, five followed by five zeros. It's five zero zero and there are three more zeros. And if I want to convert that into millions, for example, if I'm counting it in millions. So this number over here is going to be equal to 0.5 million. Uh, the way I'm going to convert uh, my number to unit is I'm going to divide it by the particular unit so if I want to convert it into millions I'm going to divide it by 1 million which is this number over here now look at the next example this is 6 followed by 4 zeros now this number if I want to count this number in terms of thousands thousand is a unit for counting so this number would be equal to 
it would be equal to 60,000. So 60,000 uh, is the, this number, six followed by four zeros is equal to 60,000. So the way I'm going to convert that particular number into this unit is I'm going to divide it by 1,000. So if I want to convert it into thousands, I have to divide it by 1,000. Similarly, this number, this is a larger number. And if I, uh, it's one, then there's two, then there's followed by five zeros. And if I, if I convert it into millions, I want to convert it into millions. So the number is going to be equal to 1.2 million. So the way I'm going to, div I'm, to co I'm going to convert it into millions is that I'm going to divide it by what a million stands for. So a million stands for one followed by six zeros. That's what a million stands for. Now, in exactly the same way, in exactly the same way, if you want to convert a particular number into moles, so uh, let's say I have this particular number, it's 6.02 into 10 is power 23. Now, if I want to convert this particular number into moles, so my unit of counting is moles. So for very large numbers, I'm going to use moles. So if I want to convert this number into moles, I'm going to divide this number by what this what one mole stands for and one mole stands for 6.02 into 10 is power 23 so the one mole is a very large number so if i want to convert any number into moles i have to divide it by 6.02 into 10 is power 23 and if i do that then this would be equal to one mole which we already knew beforehand that one mole is equal to 6.02 into 10 is power 23 particles so if you have 6.02 into 10 is power 23 particles that would be equal to one mole and the way you're going to convert it is you're going to divide it by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. Uh, we can take another number. Let's say I have this number. It's 1. It's 12.04 into 10 to the power 23. Now, if you look carefully, I've just doubled the amount. I had 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. Now I'm using, I have a bigger number that's twice as much. It's 12.04 into 10 to the power 23. And if I want to find out how many moles it's going to be equal to, now it's pretty obvious it's going to be equal to two moles, but the way you're going to calculate it is that technically speaking, the way you're going to calculate it is that if you want to convert any number into moles, you have to divide it, divide that number by what one mole stands for, and that's 6.02 into 10 is power 23. So this is then equal to two moles. So um, if you want to convert any number to moles, what you're going to do is, so the rule is that if you have any number and you want to convert it into moles, so the rule is you're going to divide it by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So any number divided by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23, that is going to give you the same amount in moles. So you're going to convert the number into the unit, which is moles. So all our chemistry calculations would not be done in millions because million is a very small number. It won't be, you wouldn't do your counting in thousands. You wouldn't do your counting in millions because atoms are so many, there's so many electrons, there's so many molecules around you that you would need a very large number. And only a mole represents a very, very large number. So one mole is equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So if you have any particular other, any other number, and you want to find out how many moles that's equal to. So you're going to divide it by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23, and you're going to find the number of moles. So, so I'm going to highlight this. Just remember this thing. Any number can be converted into moles by simply dividing by 6.02 into 10, 10 raised, to the, raised to the power 23. Now in this uh, exercise, I'm going to try and convert the following numbers to moles. So just previously that we studied, when you want to convert uh, a particular number into moles, you're going to divide it by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So uh, in the first option A, I'm going to try and solve that. So I have 10 into 10 to the power 21 molecules of Na. So ignore this fact, molecules of Na, because... Uh, when you're using numbers, you're counting something. So I have to count something. And and uh, when I'm using moles, I'm, I have to count uh, something that is present in a very large quantity. So atoms and electrons and molecules, etc., they are present in very large quantities. So I have 10 into 10 to the power 21 molecules of sodium. And I want to convert that into moles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply divide 10 into 10 to the power 21. That needs to be divided by 6.02 into 
into 10 is about 23 and you're going to use your calculators for that remember you need to learn how to use your calculators remember how to put in uh, expressions numbers in standard forms and always use brackets because calculators are pretty bad at uh, multiplying and dividing at the same time so make sure you use brackets to clearly specify what is being divided by what number so the answer to the first option it comes out to be it's 0 0.0166 moles I'm going to round my numbers to three significant figures generally for O levels and A levels uh, the answers are rounded off to three significant figures um, I'm going to do the second one. So I have 3 into 10 is per 24 atoms of phenium. That's 3 followed by 24 zero. So it's a very large amount of atoms. But So I want to convert that number into moles. So it's going to be 3 into 10 is per 24, which is going to be divided by 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23. And the answer I'm going to get on my calculator is going to be 4.98 moles so it's around 4.98 moles uh, remember to write down the unit uh, when you when your answer is moles you have to write down the unit uh, so then uh, part c i have 5 into 10 is part 18 electrons so that's 5 followed by 18 zero so it's a very very large number which is written in standard form you can't write 5 followed by 18 zeros that's going to be a very large number so i have 5 into 10 is part 18 electrons i'm going to convert that into the unit which is moles in this case so i'm going to divide it by 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 so the answer that i'm going to get is it's going to be it's going to be 8.305 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 moles now coming to option D, I have only 500 molecules of bromine. So that's a very small amount of bromine molecules. So that's a very small mo amount of bromine molecules. So I have 500 molecules of bromine. And if, uh, so if you have 500 molecules of bromine, that's a very, very small number. You don't generally count, uh, you know, you use moles. The unit moles is used for counting very, very large numbers. But you can still convert 500 molecules into the unit which is moles. So you're going to what you're going to do is you're going to divide 500 by 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23. And once you do that, the 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 number 500 would be converted into moles. So the answer that you that I am getting is it's 8.3 into 10 raised to the power minus 22 moles. Lastly, option E, I have 8 into 10 is about 28 atoms of calcium. So that's a, that's a very large amount of calcium. So I'm going to convert that number into moles. So it's 8 into 10 is about 28 divided by 6.02 into 10 is about 23. And the amount of moles that I'm going to get is it's going to be uh, it's it's 1, 3, 2, 8, 9, 0, point 0.3 moles. So that's how you're going to convert any number uh, which is used to count anything. You can count mo molecules, you can count atoms, electrons, etc. So if you, you're going to convert uh, the number into moles, so you're going to divide by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So it's simple. So to sum it up, I'm going to uh, just rewrite the formulas. So the end result is that if you're given moles, moles is a unit for counting and you want to convert that into the actual number then you're going to multiply it by 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 which is basically equal to one mole and if you are given a number and you want to convert that back into moles you're going to divide it by 6.02 into 10 raised to the power 23 so that's your basic conversion you want to convert number a particular number into moles so you're going to divide by 6.02 into 10 is part 23